Okay. Now, we've all been here. You're with many someone, times. Many times. and it could be a man or a woman, but I find that men are, are a little more guilty of this crime. No, like, come on, let's say it's it's, it's it's pretty much men. You're with someone, they're doing something sexually you don't like. They're tweaking a nipple, or they touch you too hard. Your clitoris, the clitoris is it's a It's the clitoris or the nipples, usually for me. And you tell them nicely, say, oh, baby, ooh, that's a little, that's a little too much. And then what do they say? I know exactly what I'm doing. I know what all the other women I've done this with, they loved it. They absolutely loved yes. it. Don't tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. It's what's wrong with you. So this woman that wrote in the question, my response was, well, hit him in the head with a baseball bat <laughs> just to get his attention. Because obviously he's not listening. So you have to first get their attention. And you can do that with sugar, like honey. You can be nice. And give them a compliment and say, oh, honey, I love it when you do this. And if you do this, it really makes me crazy. Or you can just do a quick slap across the face. Well. And be like, if you want to be having sex with me and you want to fuck this pussy right now, you're going to wise up. Women can't do that, smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> women just can't talk like that to us. These are young women who have a new boyfriend. And they're walking on eggs. They don't want to hurt but his that, feelings. Isn't that, a, isn't that part of the problem? Isn't yes. that why, you so know, listen to this. Because the last woman he was sleeping with didn't tell him. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. She, he, he, she let him believe it was good stuff. So they think it's good. And this woman who answered, who asked the question, she said, sometimes it just, get, I get so bored I go ahead and fake it. Which reaffirms that he knows what he's doing. Exactly. So I say it's as much our problem and our fault. You've created a sex monster. As it is the man's. And if you don't tell him or speak up, he's never going to know. And when push comes to shove, get up and leave. I did that. I was 16 years old, and I had a crush on this lifeguard all summer long. Oh, dear. Like a little puppy. And he finally invited me over to his house, and his parents oh were away in, like, Europe or something. And I drove over in my car, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get, this is going to be great. And we're making out, and he takes my nipple really hard and tweaks it. I mean, it was like almost like he twisted it. And I went, ah! Like, it really hurt. It was like, kick someone in the balls hurt. And then I said, don't do that. It's too much. Just do a little lighter. And he did it again. On the other side. And, no, the same freaking nipple. The oh, same one. That's it. So I just said, I said, you know, if, if you can't listen to me, and when I tell you what I want or what I don't want, I'm like, there's no way I'm having sex with you. And I put on my top and my bra, and I left. There you now, go. I'm not sure why at that age you felt that entitled. I felt entitled. It was like if I tell you something hurts, it, not that it's uncomfortable or it's not good, you know, it hurts. Back in the group <laughs> sex days, Sheila and I used to call this dialing Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> they were oh. dialing Tokyo. And when he said, I oh, don't dial Tokyo, and they said, what? And they'd get their attention. What are, they, what are you talking about? Don't dial Tokyo. <laughs> Please. <laughs> It's it's too bad that, and, and once again, my experience is that um, a man who really likes women, who truly does like women, he will listen to you, but you must speak up. And if you do speak up and he doesn't listen to you and he goes ahead and does what he wants, split, baby. Like, why would you stay? How? Where is that going to go? It's only going to go down. <laughs> like, you're, you're never going to. Uh, if you want to continue, you certainly can't fake pleasure. And maybe you need to have a conversation out of the bedroom before the next time you have sex and say, you know, it really bothers me when you don't listen to what I'm saying, what I'm saying yeah. in the bedroom. Yeah. You're just discounting yeah. me. And when yeah. you do that, all of a sudden, you know, I don't want to have sex anymore and I'm really not into you and I'm thinking I should date other people. Kills and it. And throw it out like that. Kills it. We used to talk about techniques in group sex. Mm -hmm. of if you got some guy who was coming on and he was really a, a hard fuck or doing, we would... Brace, we would brace our hands. Well, that's why sometimes guys will push your hand away. They don't like that. Well, yeah, but you're, you're not, I mean, it's never worth, it's never worth being hurt. No. Oh. To have sex with someone. No, exactly. It's, it's about pleasure, not about pain, unless you make an agreement that you want to be hurt a little bit. That's perfectly all right. And you right. have to talk about that yeah, stuff. Yeah, and that's a discussion, a negotiation, and lots of agreements. Yes, and, and safe words. Same thing is true for, for pleasure. It's a lot of discussion, mm -hmm. a lot of negotiation, and a lot of agreements. So if she's got some jackass who isn't willing to listen to her... And that could be part of his own sexual repression and that we raise men in the culture to think that everything they do is great and they have to be the aggressors. So it is a new role for them 
where it's equal partners, it's not dominance, it's not submission. You know what I mean? I think most people come to sex with that. So it may take a little bit of time if you're willing to invest it. But, you know, state your 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 cause here. Say no. You know, it's okay state. to get up. You know, he'll get the message if you get up and put your clothes on. Yeah, state your pleasure. <laughs> you and know? if he doesn't hear, split. There you All go, right. from now the master. Remember, darling, remember, <laughs> don't put up with anything that hurts. Pain is a sign that something is wrong. Your body's telling you. And you need to say something. So open your mouth and speak your mind. Mm -hmm. And if you can't handle it, dump him. I love it. Bye. <laughs>